look clean right now. I ain't never seen nothing that clean. Little mama look like boys and bear pie. Look like rutabagas out this mother. Ooh, I think she got them yams. You know how I feel about them yams, man. <laughs> and would you look at that right there? She done got her own ride. Mm-hmm. That girl independent. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dominique, aka Legally Bomb. And today we have a new hair tutorial. Um, if you guys didn't notice, um, I like very simple hairstyles. So this, although it is very big, this jumbo bun is super duper simple. So if you guys ever see a hair tutorial coming from me, I promise you it's going to be super duper simple and easy because I am not really, uh, how do we say it? Um, I'm not that good with hair, you know? I can give you a nice slick bun and do things with that bun, hence this. So um, if you guys like this bun and you wanna see how I got it, please keep watching. Alright guys, so I kind of got a little bit confused while recording this video. So this video is going to be a combination of a voiceover and a talk through. So some parts I will be talking and some parts you will hear my voiceover. So just bear with me as we get through this tutorial. I'm not sure. This is supposed to be a talk through. So I'm not sure if I... I saw the... I mean not a talk through. It's supposed to be a voiceover not a talk through. So um, I did not record the first part. I did record it, but I don't know if I like it. So if you're seeing this, I did not like it. So um, all I did was just slick up my hair into a bun. I wanted it to be a little bit higher, like right here, but it was hard, getting harder to hold my hair. So I was just like, you know what, whatever. But if you want to see how I slick my hair down, I do have another video in the Gabrielle Union style ponytail video. Did the same thing, except I just did it up. And when I did it up, it didn't actually require me to do it in sections. I just put gel around the edges and brushed it up. And then, um, yeah, that's really all I did. So, um, if you're seeing this, I did record the first part, but I did not like the first part. So, yeah. I'm just taking some old tracks. Um, this is an actual, this is a bundle. I first cut it in half because I didn't think I would need the entire bundle. But after the first time I did this, I tried to do it with a half a bundle, but I did not like it. It wasn't full enough. So, that's why I used the other half of the bundle. But I just brushed it out. This is some old curly bundles. Like, literally, these are so old. Um, but they're still in very, very good condition. But um, if you want to take just some old curly bundles, I don't know the length because, again, these are super duper old. But they seem pretty long. Let's see. I would say that's like a 16, 18, 20. I don't know. I don't know what length it is. But um, just some old curly bundles. And I will show you. Um, I will insert a picture of what these actually look like. I think it was kind of like a kinky curly. I don't remember. So I'm going to take the first bundle. And I just brushed it out a little bit just to give it more volume because that's going to help in the bun. So I'm going to take this bobby pin and put it at the end of the track, at the very end. And I'm just going to use that to slide it into my head. wrapping it around that you're making sure that the bundle like the I mean not the bundle the web is actually touching your scalp so it's not the webs as you wrap it the webs aren't um like stacking on top of each other you want them to be as low to your head as possible if that makes sense as you get to the end of your of wrapping that first half of the bundle you want to use a bobby pin to secure the other end of the bundle like you see me doing here and as I mentioned earlier as you're wrapping make sure I said as low to your head as possible I meant like as flat to your head as, as close excuse me as close to your head as you can possibly get it because if you don't you'll feel the webs kind of like stacking on top of each other on top of each other are laying on top of each other and what you wanted to do is to lay super duper flat you don't want any of the webs to be on top of each other you want everything to kind of wrap around in a circle i guess it would kind of like a cinnamon bun you know how everything is just 
rolled, but it's all at the same level. So yeah. Um, getting the body pin placement is kind of hard. That's why you see me kind of redoing it a couple times in this part. But just attach the body pin however you can. And then just this is me wrapping the second half. And then do the same thing that you did with the first one. Just make sure you're keeping those tracks um, close to your head. This is a look in itself, kind of sort of, you know. This little tweaking, this little side ponytail action. I had to trim this up some. I feel like this is a, this could be a look. Maybe a little less tea for this making this longer. But yeah, do y'all think this is a look? I mean, maybe we're gonna try. I'm gonna see what I can come up with for y'all. All right, guys, here is the star of the show. This is the bun, the donut. I'm sure you all are familiar with these. We used to make these out of socks as children, but the Beast Plus store actually sells them. Not sure why we were using them, the ones made out of socks. But anyways, this is the one that is 13 and a half inches, I believe, or something. 13 and a half, what was on the uh, packaging. And make sure when you put your ponytail through the middle of the bun that you're adjusting it properly, like you're making sure the bun, the donut is sitting on your head and not... Um, stuck in the middle of the all that weave and here I'm just showing you that I did not brush out all the texture from that point until I left some of the waves and curls in there I think kind of adds to the look of the bun and then you all remember how we used to do our buns we used to wrap the hair around the donut that's all this is wrap the hair around the donut and from here you'll see me just tucking it and adjusting it how I like it um I don't really like that wrap look in the front so I kind of use a I kind of tuck it back I use my thumbs to push it back I don't know if I do it in this one but I just redid it the other day and that's what I did um but you know adjust it to however you like to do it um and that's what you'll see me doing to style and swirl your baby hairs in the front of your ponytail however you would like normally if I want bigger swoops I'll do that while I'm slicking my hair down but I waited super late to do it but and also couldn't find my gel so that's why I'm just kind of just brushing my little baby hairs down they don't really need a lot of taming they just kind of lay super flat but like I said make it this ponytail your own do it however you'd like to do it and that's all this is to this ponytail I feel like it's super duper duper easy Wrapping some tracks and throwing it around a donut. That's pretty much it when it comes to this donut. Um, this is the final look. If you all like this look, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the video. Um, thank you all so much. I'll see you all in the next one.